I am from Saginaw, Michigan. Uh, I studied art at Kendall College of Art and Design and also Royal College of Art in London. 15 years ago, I came here to Hendersonville. I love sculpture, but painting has always been my passion. And even when I was doing sculpture, I was also doing a little bit of painting. But I lived in New Orleans and it was um, pretty incredible living there. And um, of course, the Hurricane Katrina was, was a very devastating you know, circumstance to, to go through. But um, you know, coming here in, in Henderson, uh, Hendersonville and living in Western North Carolina has been you know, wonderful for me. I work primarily in acrylic paint and I use paper and fabric as well as acrylic paint. My focus is always working from the figure. The figures that I paint and create are absolutely, they're from my mind. I do not use any kind of photo reference. You know, they're very emotive and spontaneous and that's, that is the goal. That is what I like to try and create. Um, I consider myself a figurative expressionist. A figurative expressionist is someone who creates art inspired by the human figure, and but with more of an emotive goal rather than a very realistic image. So I like to create figures that exude emotion. Um, emotion, movement, things of that nature. I'm not trying to create a figure that looks exactly like someone that we know. I mean, I can easily sit down and draw a portrait of someone and have it look identical to that person. And I, I have done that many, many times in my life. Um, and however, I find it to be even more challenging to create something that that isn't that we're not already seeing or we haven't already seen so i like to really come up with these unique images and um and when i do that i use i like the paper because i try to come up with these very very unique compositions i, I mean to me as an artist the most powerful thing you can do in a painting is of course have an excellent composition and so what I like to do with the paper is I actually have they're actually little directions um, they're little arrows and they're um, you know they're designed to lead your eye around the painting the way I want you to look at it so that it has the maximum effect with the movement and the emotion and it's really fun so I will <clears throat> if you look at my paintings you can see you know where the paper pieces kind of kind of push your eye around the piece and a lot of times I will start with an idea for a palette just a certain group of colors that I think will be really interesting together and I will just literally just do a gesture on the canvas um, just an idea and I will look at that and I'll go okay this I'm gonna go this direction, I'm gonna go that direction. And I just create it and build it from there. And there's a lot of constructing, but there's also a lot of deconstructing that goes into my work. Um, you know, where I will apply paper different places and then I tear it away um, until it's just the way I want it to be. And I do, I do female figures, but I also have lots of male figures too. Um, and I have lots of um, paintings where there's more than one figure and they're interacting with each other in the piece. Um, I feel like today figurative art is becoming even more interesting and important because, um, you know, we are in a, in a social climate right now, which is, um, you know, it's just very impactful on everyone. You know, we're all um, very affected by all of the events swirling around us and um, figurative art is a way of you know reaching out to people human to human you know as far as and and just kind of documenting all of the all of the emotional things that are happening in our world and, and happening around us um, I like to do paintings that are happy I feel like art 
I like to create art that is joyful, you know, that is interesting and inspiring and joyful. That's, that's really my ultimate goal. My most recent piece, it's called Princess Electra. That one is really, that's, that's a very big favorite of mine. I love that piece. I love how she is such a powerful looking female figure because she really does come across as very powerful. And I like the unusual color combinations. That's something that I really like to do too. Um, push the boundaries of color. And, and I also like um, a lot of the really intricate uh, directional pieces that I have in there. I think it adds to the, almost feels like she's in the, she's in the wind and you can just feel all the, all the swirling motion and tension around her. And um, so that's why I'm really happy with that piece. And it is a new piece. It's an honor. It really, it's an honor for, for someone to, to, um, purchase a painting, you know, it's an honor and it's, it's a success, I feel like, and um, I'm happy, you know, for that to happen. And I am a little sad to see it go, but, um, but it's okay because it's, I know there are many more where that came from, you know, <laughs> although there, I, you know, all my paintings are different and unique and all the paintings that I'm offering at Art on Main are originals. Um, and that's okay because I truly have a lot of work and I create so much. So, um, you know, there are many more in my future. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amy Castile from Standback Studio. And I hope that you'll visit me at www.standbackstudio.com. You can also find me at, at Standback Studio on Instagram.